We highlighted a couple of local pros taking part in the CVS Charity Classic Pro-Am, but not one has accomplished quite as much in the calendar year as Jim Renner. Sarah Hogan has more from Barrington. After racking up numerous tournament wins on the amateur golfing circuit over the past few years, this winter, Plainville, Massachusetts native Jim Renner finally earned his PGA Tour card and has hit the ground running ever since. It's certainly an adventure. Uh, I've had a lot, of, a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it's obviously been a dream of mine for a long time. It's stressful at times, but it's a, you've just got to live and learn type of thing. you just got to keep kind of trucking on and learn as much as you can, as quick as you can. And that's kind of what I've been doing so far this year, and I think I'm on the right track. Already with 12 pro tournaments under his belt this season, Jim is slowly rising up the ranks in the FedEx Cup point standings and looks to make a name for himself amongst some of the top golfers in the world. I just don't think people somewhat understand how many good players there actually are, whether that be on the mini tours or PGA Tour or Nationwide Tour. Just like anything, you want to be out there. Everybody wants to be out there. Um, so I'm lucky enough to have a chance to play out there this year and hopefully uh, get it going the second half of the year and be out there for a long time. And growing up and playing golf in New England, Jim didn't have to look far for inspiration. As both Brad Faxon and Billy Andre have become household names on the PGA Tour and also out in the local community with the CBS Charity Classic. Brad Faxon and Billy Andre are a big part of this tournament and they're two of the most, if not, you know, the most respected guys in New England golf. And, uh, they're, they're the guys that gave myself and uh, many others the dream that playing on the PGA Tour, even though you come from New England, is possible. So that's certainly, uh, you know, it's just nice to be involved. And I know, obviously, with CVS Charity, there's a lot of good being done here this week, and they raise a lot of money. And, uh, you know, it's just this thing that I feel very honored, and I feel very special, you know, to be a part of it. And following his first Pro-Am appearance at the CVS Charity Classic this year, Jim's next stop on the PGA Tour will be the Travelers Championship in Cromwell, Connecticut, a tournament he's been looking forward to all season as it is the first he's played in New England. Obviously, you know, when you first get your PGA Tour card, there's certain tournaments that flash through your mind of, you know, where you'll be and, uh, you know, when you'll be playing. And uh, the Travelers was certainly one that I immediately thought of, and it will be nice to play because um, it is somewhat of a hometown tournament uh, for myself and other guys from New England. I'm looking forward to it. I'm playing pretty well right now. I feel like my game's starting to turn around um, in the right direction. So it'd be great to have a, um, you know, a good tournament down in the Travelers. In Barrington, I'm Sarah Hogan, Eyewitness Sports.